Hello and welcome to Sports Fan Entertainment and the Tennessee Titans have fired head coach Mike Malarkey. And some of you may be surprised when I say this, but I have to say good. Okay, this is a surprise because the last time you all saw me, if you do not follow my Twitter, and you should follow my Twitter at the MJ Take, the last time I was on YouTube, I said that they should keep Mike Malarkey, but that they should fire the offensive coordinator, and that was a very important thing. But yesterday, Mike Malarkey lost his job, he lost my confidence in him, and he lost my confidence in this coaching staff and the direction of this football team in general, as he had the audacity to stand up in his press conference to pretty much end the year and say there will be no changes to the coaching staff. Are you kidding me, dog? Job Terry did. I think Terry did a very good job. I thought he did a very good job. Do you anticipate any changes on your staff going forward? I don't. A coaching staff, which obviously needs upgrades at offensive coordinator, needs upgrades at wide receiver coach. I think maybe even needed an upgrade at defensive coordinator coach, at the damn quarterback coach. It doesn't matter now. Mike Malarkey went up there, he said that, and as soon as he said that, and I tweeted, and it's all over my tweet, I'll put the tweets on my screen right now. That's it, I gave him a chance, he has to go. Because honestly, until he said that, I honestly believed, and I still believe, he actually did enough to stay. The fact that he was able to take a 3-13 team, turn them into a playoff team, win a playoff game, break the Titans' playoff drought, okay, of getting in the playoffs, then break the even longer drought of winning in the playoffs. That alone, to me, was good enough to say, hey, as long as you fire your offense coordinator and do the things that you need to do, you deserve to keep your job. But, man, if you're not willing to fire Terry Robisky, who is obviously an awful offense coordinator, you should go. Now, I said two years ago, when we hired Mike Malarkey, this was a bad hire, but you have to give him credit, people. He did, I think, a pretty good job. I know ultimately you guys you guys wanted him out. I wanted him out by the end, but ultimately, man, I think he did a pretty damn good job with this football team. He turned us from that 3-13 awful team that we were to a playoff team, to one of the last eight teams in the NFL tournament, and that was a good accomplishment. But again, we have a situation in Tennessee, like we had in Mike Munchak, where our coast refuses to make any changes. But with Mike Munchak, I actually did understand why Mike Munchak didn't want to change anything. Um, I don't think his coordinators was bad. I think that he was just bad. So we were just like, well, if I fire my office coordinator, nothing's going to change anyway. Okay. But in Mike Munchak's case, dude, it was obvious. You fire Terry Robisky, you bring in Daryl Bevel, former Seattle Seahawks office coordinator. You bring him in and you let him do a good job uh, in trying to rebuild this offense or something like that. But because he was not able to dedicate that, it was obvious that decision had to be made. The decision was made. Mike Munchak is fired as the head coach of the Tennessee Titans. And now we move forward looking for a new head coach. And the obvious thing to me is obvious to you as well. The Tennessee Titans want to hire Josh McDaniels as the new head coach for the Tennessee Titans. And I'm all for that. I've said it for the entire season. I want Josh McDaniels as the head coach for the Tennessee Titans. But... What we have to say, people, what I have to say, because you guys don't even want to consider this, even he may not be great. We need to look out because Josh McDaniels was a guy that was hired by the Denver Broncos. He came in with 8-8 eight eight his first year, and I think the Broncos started about 4-0 or 5-0 that season. They fell out that season, and the next year they were a disaster, and he was fired quick. When we look at these random guys like Frank Reich, who apparently we're looking at who the offense coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles, Pat Shermer, offense coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings, you just don't know how they're going to do. Okay, so before we hire somebody and we say, okay, this guy's going to lead us to the Super Bowl, that's it, it's going to be great, it's going to be fantastic, it's going to be awesome, I caution you. 
because you never really know how it's gonna work out. You could easily hire the next Ben McAdoo, the next Dirk Cutter, the next Jay Gruden, who only does okay but never leads you to the promised land. You just never know. But what I do know is this. With Mike Malarkey being completely um, unable, unwilling to change his offensive co coaching staff, it was obvious, it was clear, a change had to be made at the top, uh, at the head coach position. He's gone, and I even thought after the New England Patriots game that Dick LeBeau needed to go too because it was obvious that he just cannot be the Patriots. We've seen it for years now. He's getting old anyway. So now we get, now we get to start clean in Tennessee, okay? We gotta, we're going to have a new head coach, hopefully Josh McDaniels, because that's the only name that I look at, and I'm like, okay, I really, truly believe he's going to do well. Other names like Pat Shermer, like Frank Reich, like John D. Filippo, quarterback coach for the Philadelphia Eagles, we just don't know. It's a new name, and it's nice to have a new name, but we just don't know. And I also caution the Titans this. I know you want to hire an offensive guy, right? That's the guy that's going to help Marcus Mariota. But to me, just hire a good head coach. I don't care if it's offensive or defensive. If it's a good head coach, everything will be all right, right? I don't think the Vikings are crying because they've had Mike Zimmer for the past couple years, right? I don't think the Steelers, although they're not having Mike Tomlin right now, I don't think that they're crying because they have Mike Tomlin. I don't think the Seahawks are crying because they have Pete Carroll. If they're a good head coach, the offense will end up being good enough anyway because that good head coach will hire good people on offense offense so my thing is just get a good head coach I really don't care if it's offensive or defensive so in conclusion the Titans fired Mike Malarkey and overall I have to say good because again he lost me in his press conference yesterday when he said he was not going to make any changes to his coaching staff that was a ridiculous exchange to me I cannot believe he said that and that was the moment he lost me and that was the moment he lost John Robinson that was the moment he lost his job so there you go. Those are my thoughts on the Titans firing Mike Malarkey. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. But until next time, this has been MJ of Sports Fan Entertainment. And I'm out. See you all later.